Hello there Reason people, Pooh Bear here and welcome to my channel and today we're going to be looking at Element by Kirschview. Um, I've done a video of this in the past where I've used this to load up VST3s and uh, do MIDI out back into Reason. Uh, one of the issues back then was the MIDI out had latency. They've now resolved it. I'm not going to say it's a hidden, hidden feature, but if you don't know where to click within Elements, it is like hidden, and you won't know where to adjust it to remove that latency. I'm also going to do a little bit of creative stuff um, with uh, Instance Chord, which happens to be a VST3 version I'm using, mainly because the only other time I've actually used Instant Chords was when I've done my last video showing how to use MIDI out. I've actually not ever used it for anything else, so I thought I'd do something with that as well. So let's sort of dive in a little bit. So when you open up um, Elements, this is what it looks like. And in fact, uh, you may think, oh, there's loads of stuff missing. You've got to drag it and make it nice and big. Yeah, and then all of a sudden you can see things. So what I'm actually gonna do here, I'm just gonna turn the zoom up just purely for the recording purposes. And you can see obviously there's a MIDI in, there's, a MIDI, there's some obviously all the audio outs. Has actually has 32 channels out, but obviously in reason only supports 16. If we move this down, you can see there's actually this MIDI out one hidden away. Um, that one you'd use in other doors because then you, that's how you get your MIDI out um, from VSTs uh, in other doors and it'd just go and record it. But in reason we can't do that, we have to do something a bit special. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go to my MIDI out devices. And if I scroll down, I think I might have to, got a zoom program here, I should have to zoom in. There we go. I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to use my loopback MIDI. If you've never done a loopback before, I have actually got a video called uh, Beginner's Guide to Loopbacks and EMI. Obviously, you can replace the EMI with the new MIDI out device. Um, you could probably get away watching half of that video because we're only interested in the loopback side, but I'd advise you to watch it all. Now, this is where the hidden thing is. So this is my MIDI port. And what you've got to do is you've got to double click on that. And it opens up this little window here. And as you can see at the moment, it's saying zero MS latency. You've got to take this and move it backwards. So in my case, for my latency I have, I, have to, I sort of take it over 500 mark. I've noticed that if you go really high, um, it just stops working. It's quite a weird setting because you can't really go backwards in time. So they must have something in their programming which is obviously causing latency. Maybe they're doing some kind of funny timing with their MIDI. Um, and this is sort of bypassing that. But yep, 600 works for me, so now when I hit uh, my keys, the MIDI's gonna come in and come back out and into Reason at a very, very reasonable rate. So as I say, that's that new hidden feature. You just have to remember to double click on this, it's not obvious, um, and then we can got that here. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to load myself up a, a VST3. So I can zoom in here, so let's put in Insta, and here we go, I've got an instant chord, so if I grab that and drop that there, it's gonna load it up on another screen, so let me grab that across. What I've got to do now is obviously wire my MIDI in, so here's my MIDI in, and if I put it there, there's that little orange dot, I'm just gonna grab that, put that onto that orange dot, into the instant chord, I'm then gonna take that orange dot and put that into my MIDI loopback, which is then gonna come back and talk to reason, and Obviously here I need to select something. Oh, there we go. I've got something there called Pooh Bear. So that's it set up. So MIDI now is gonna start playing my instant chord, which is gonna output and come back into Reason. Obviously within Reason itself, I've got to make sure the MIDI, what's coming back into it is going to the correct place. And so for me personally, I want to um, assign it to Craft. So I'm gonna right click Craft. Again, if I zoom in and there's my, my loop back. So I'm just gonna assign it to that. So now anything I play onto there, it's now going to play this instrument here, he says, and I'm just gonna turn that off a second. So theoretically, he says, if I highlight that and now play something on my keyboard, it's working, it's all working as expected. So for me, this is where the fun side comes in. I'm gonna come in and uh, have a little bit of play of instant chords. So what I've decided to do is at the top here, I've got myself a random LFO, which is um, talking to this combinator. So we just got it coming in box down and combinator. I've got myself uh, some player stacks here. Um, 
here it is just showing me what notes are actually coming in. Then I'm, I'm being lazy and I'm actually going to be using tonic meets in range. Uh, usually when I get, um, I create a random LFO, I would use something like Janitor and Janitor itself will allow you to scale it down and then offset it so you can bring it up into the correct range. But obviously with this, I can just ignore that and it's gonna shift up all for me. I've got it then going through a compulsion. From that compulsion, I've got it going through another compulsion. This compulsion itself has got a little bit of, um, where are we? We've got ourselves a little bit of um, CV data, which is changing the rate of this one. So at a certain point in time, it's gonna change the rate of that just to speed it up a little bit. And as I say, then all that MIDI is then gonna be fired off into Craft. Craft has also got a, a little a MIDI converter on top, which I'm nicking the MIDI and pushing it over to this base stack here. So this is gonna be a base stack, let's turn that on. So I've got myself a little bass stack going on, which is just a, a box standard uh, monotone, as you can see, I've just created a simple little patch for it. And finally, I'm just taking all that stuff out and a bit more of the MIDI out, and I'm going over into this um, voltage modular device called uh, First Contact by yours truly. Um, I've written several modules for Voltage Modular, um, which are all gonna be released quite soon, and it's gonna be my first one released, and it's gonna be a freebie. Um, so I thought I'd just mention that here, why not? A bit of free promotion. So yeah, so that's basically it. A bit of randomization, a bit of fun. And so if we bring up elements here, in fact, I'm gonna move this off this screen. We'll just leave this instant chord here so we can see that playing away. And what you're gonna see is you should see the key switching, which is controlled by this one. We'll go through the different chords. Then the randomization is going to be playing the actions. Um, and as I say, that's all coming out and goes going through a, a few different things. So it's all just a bit of fun. So uh, yeah, sit back and enjoy. And I suppose I should say, well, thank you for watching.